Well, morning. It's um, just after half past five. I've just woke up. Make it a bro. With my lovely coffee filter bags. I tried showing you all last night. Still in my jammers. So, got big ride ahead today again. Managed to book a hotel for two nights. Just because, when I look at the weather, it's supposed to be raining again. Like I said, the tent is still going to be wet. It's going to be a nightmare for me all. Just trying to get it dried out or wait for drier weather. Um, and it makes life a little bit easier as well, to be honest. Then we have been bought a booked Hotel Leon. We'll see what that's like. But the aim is, big long ride again today. Quick look on Google says seven hours ride, not waterway, but see if we can stick to that today. Get set off early, and get set off for about seven o'clock, hopefully. We're about to get stuff together, all packed away on the road. So, day four, Portland. I've got a clue it's all Mali so far, to be honest. Day one was Accrington, Belgium. Day two, then in Belgium. Day three, yesterday, Belgium through to Eden Missy. I don't know if I'm going to say it right. Day four, I'm going to And then day five, to be the great escape. So I like all three. The whole purpose of the um, trip. So that should be good. Get in there, spend the full day, have a day's rest as well. The hotel that I've booked is about 20 minutes away. You start like all three. So it should be a nice chill out there tomorrow. Then who knows? I've not decided what's gonna happen. We'll be halfway through then. Do we just make our way back? Hmm, do we pinch you further a bit south? Now we his way back in. Just have to wait and see. Who knows? We could just be about the way back across Germany. Down into Czechia. Is, is it Czechia? Check, check us out. Drop down into uh, Czech. And then you come back across or possibly drop down. It'd be nice to try and get down into Austria and then the Gloss and Knocker. Cool to try and get back that way. I can fit it all in. It's a different story. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway. I just thought I'd do this one, video diary and all that. Probably even knackered state. The coffee should be ready now. Fully filtered coffee. So I'm ready to set off. I've set Garmin to do the um, most adventurous route. Says it's going to take it about eight hours. Um, and then I'll probably have a couple of hours stops off. So I'll probably get there about six, seven o'clock, which is about right. With me in an hotel, it's probably a bit easier as well. Picked this more northerly way because looking at the weather radar that's built into Garmin. We've got oh we've gone back this way and the south bit it's like there's a bit more rain. According to this I should miss we'll see will we? We'll see. Whether for where we are today uh, 15 degrees and light rain. Okay, let's see how that works out for us. First things first we need the head petrol stimulus. Stop please drive to highlight a boat. Right here she is all ready to go and I thought that had died with the weather. Had it on charge all day yesterday, it won't turn on, but it's turned this morning. So happy days. Get yeah, messes working. There's my Cali, all loaded up. That's my bed. These bags did nothing. Right, still got damp. There's the tent, which is still damp. Might be worth asking at the hotel when I get there if there's somewhere I can open it out. I have like a boiler room or something right, to hang it up in. Right, let's hit the road. So, I don't want to tempt it, but it looks like I um, plan to try and avoid the um, rain, which is a little more south, and stick it to the north orderly route. Rain just paid off. Just as I click the camera on, the sun's just gone behind the cloud, but it's been nice and sunny. It's 20 degrees, it says. But it's very pleasant. It's all there. Not great the speed on it. I'm saying it's the Germans. Got a left turn coming up, it says. I've noticed a bit. I don't know if it's just here in Germany. But zoom on. Seems to tell you to turn left. When the road bent in to the I was talking. Excuse me. Big by this cough. What time I've been here? But better to soldier on than cancel. I may have not got the, uh, the most exciting route through, but if it's dry, it'll do. Well, it's the first day that I've been driving a lot, riding along. Dry. My feet don't feel wet. It's got to be a bonus. Right. A bit of a turn coming up here, so I'm not going to bother it. Especially with that big yellow thing coming towards me. I thought the sun might have come back out to show you. What are you doing, you clown? Just reverse onto the main door, do you know? 
quite see what's coming up. It's an auto wagon's about on here. Unless I can see what's dead in front of it. This one. Well, best laid plans and all that didn't last. Well, I don't know. Lasted till 20 to 1. Just stopped for a fuel pilot and smoke break. That's outside in the sunshine thinking brilliant this and then all of a sudden boom shakalaka boom boom what what we got hopefully just a shower i could have hid out under the uh, canopy i thought you know what hardcore me it's just because i've been listening to uh, frank turner my is his favorite or one of the favorites the fans call themselves frank turner hardcore hardcore now listening to frank and back out into rain so profound last day a feeling wash over me of um, what do you call it homesick or, or whatever, we're just really missing my oh missus. Are you insulting me? Well, I'm laying my heart out here, telling everybody what a soft arse I am because I was missing my lass. And, you know, we've been apart a few times. I've had to go away from her. You're pushing your luck now, love. You're just rude. You know, I've had to go away a few times. And... Turn right onto our deck, Mal. Turn right. I don't think we're turning right there, Cop. Turning right here. Alright. Three and a half kilometres. Turn left onto Starfordy Affluent South. No, we, in a way, a couple of times, not the rest of it. I don't know, I just got this feeling come over me, all melancholy and that lot. And I was thinking to myself, 34 years we've been married, 35 in Feb, it's a long time. But, I don't think, in all that time, this is the furthest we've been apart, miles-wise. The last time I went around Belgium and that lot, I thought it just didn't seem as bad. Uh, I, I guess it's the um, four days in. Or eight, I had a couple of days. I could have done it in three days if I hadn't gone Battle of Waterloo. I'm four days in, I've still not reached my goal yet. So I'm almost at that turning round point, aren't I? That's got a bit further to get away from home, I guess. So yeah, yeah you know, I've had a chapter over what's happened and everything else, but it's just not the same. So uh, I've been listening to a few tunes today. So I've still got 200 and some kilometres to go. I'm hoping that that sky up ahead is for me. This bit that I've just rolled through just a shower let's have a look all right still still coming down a bit uh, and then other thing i was thinking about as well was as i was strapping my stuff to be back on my bike this morning like you do and it just reminded me i don't know why because i've never done it but i'm sitting on telly but when you see them start day after i i'll tell you what it is me and you we're gonna have your words go it's a bit slippy there in three kilometers turn left on to b246 right like all it has is here it's like what's the story Balamori. What's the story of Balamori? I would like to know. Um, yeah, so it reminded me of when you see them, they were riding off, getting their horses ready and strapping them up. And I don't know if it's because I've been through Battle of Waterloo thing and, and, and you know, listening to the audio book at night and while I was riding and that. And then that just made me think of, hey, look, we, we tend to forget and we think that the world is such a small place because of jet travel. Because you can get on a plane uh, and within a few hours there'll be as far as I am now, you know, it's only a few hour flight. Obviously, it took me four days riding a motorbike. Because you left that one having to ride an horse. It just makes you think, you know, of, yeah, all these times, you read about these, you know, battles and, and whatever, these thousands of armies. Some wind blowing there, look. Um, yeah, watching across continents. Anyway, it was just me being a bit whatever this morning. What's that? The weird thoughts go through your head. Everybody should spend time with yourself. Because if you can't get on with yourself, do you expect any bugger else to? Huh. Would I rather be on a train right now? In the rain? Oh, I would not. I consider myself a lucky chap. Hey, so 230 odd kilometres to go. So I'm going to take the camera back off in a minute. And then uh, yeah, I'm not planning on having a break. One and a half kilometres. Turn left on to B246. I'll tell you what it is. You are getting turned off if you carry on. Stop being so rude, woman. Bad news when you are on your own. And all you've got to talk to. But it's that now, especially when we get into arguments. Oh, I'm less slipping than I'm not willing to find out. It looks like right shiny tarmac. I don't like shiny tarmac. Not good stuff. Oh, a couple of things I said. I mean, that's a bit weird, isn't it? I don't know what it is. So, a couple of things I saw yesterday. I seen, right, and I don't know if I'd uh, mentioned or not, and I might cut this bit. It was, right, we, we were going this way. I mean, when I want you to tell me what we are. Yes, yeah, so we cow. Swear to God, you're taking me in these circles. Here you go. Right, out of it. Solid then. In 7 kilometres, turn right on to B246. Right, enough. Yeah, so, I seen pizza vending machine. I was really tempted to go back and have a do with it. Three minute pizza, the vending machine. I thought, oh, I'll see another. I haven't seen one since. Anybody listening to this who don't understand the accent, they're like, I've seen one since. I haven't seen one since. Yeah, chat. 
What? What? Oh, hell. Jelly hair! Once more to a breach, my friends, once more! So, yeah, listening back to this, or hearing myself talking there, it's like I'm losing it. I'm not living in the moment. Uh, and then the other one I'd say, um, and again I wanted to stop, was the uh, monument to World War I war dead. It was one of the things that struck me when I went to uh, the World War I battlefields a couple of years ago. So it's all about the victors, all these big battles. Young men died, the flag they were under. Young men died. We tend to glorify it and vilify, and it's uh, like it resonates quite well with me. There's still somebody's mother, somebody's brother, somebody's son who is out there fighting because somebody else had told them to. Yeah, and, and I haven't seen many on the travels. That one did say 1418 on it, and I haven't seen any to do with World War II. Because again, oh, Nazis were bad people, but common soldiers, really, that way. Contemplate pulling over for a bit of a break because I said to myself, oh, I won't have a break until I've done. I've got, I think it was on 230 odd kilometres. I'm like, alright, let's get thingy down. So, this was uh, 134. About right. And then, shut a break, look what happened. That's some kind of rain god. The rain just wants to be with me. Well, place a little hotel room for two nights. Good chance to dry off. I don't know about these roads though. The, um, all this sap of that. Oh, he's got inside of me, sodding helmet now. Inside of me, visor. Well, day four, summary. I guess, although I've got an hour left to go, I'm fastly approaching, I think, the Polish border. Shouldn't be that far away from it. Who's in this? Bloody watchtowers everywhere. I've seen a great escape. I'm telling you, look, over there in that field. Oh, why? They're still watching us. Yeah, so it's been another long ass day. But you know what? These roads, I mean, you have to keep slowing down, right? Because you get told off because it's, it's 70 because there's trees outside that road and you're going to hit a tree. That's what the sign said. And then, uh, I can't do it here, can I? I'm a bend. There's it's fucking spikes on that! You know what I'm eating? That fucking cut me the wrong way! Jesus! So yeah, most of these roads, it's 100. Although, some are straight. Obviously, I never did it. But, if one wanted to, one could well exceed the speed limit. Um, yes. So, not not seen the speed cameras. Doesn't mean to say I haven't fucking gone past any. But I haven't seen any. Uh, so yeah. Lovely long straights, majority of them are nice and smooth and flat, and some awesome sweeps. Not saying you can get knee down on this light, but oh, it's bright, boys. If you can get over this far, well worth it. And this is one of these uh, signs coming up, look, right? Three, with a car hitting it, so you've got to go 70. Because there's trees at the side of the road. Oh, trees at the side of every sunny road, so it's a 70 on here because of that. So yeah, some like 500 and odd kilometres that we've done today. Well, I've got an hour left to go, yeah. So thought I'd start it now, and I might just be approaching the border. Who knows? The well, when I had a look, that Goobin went through was uh, pretty much on the border. Now, if it's out like the rest of uh, Europe, you don't even sort of know. You don't even know you've gone through it. Times are still in German. So, anyway, it is one for you, right? But it still says I'm on my way to Goobin, 1.4 kilometres. So, Neto. Now, goes a lot back in England, Neto. Everybody used to rip the piss out of the eight, eight fence tin of beans and that, didn't they? It's a big hole, isn't it? Netto sort of died a death. And I come over here and I seen loads of Nettos and I kept driving past. I knew it was uh, lagging a little bit and I knew I only had a couple of hours left to go. So I was riding past a Netto or a pulley. I'll get a couple of supplies for tonight and then got a little coffee shop attached. I'm thinking, it's alright, I didn't mean to beat them. A little coffee shop, did you come out? It says Poland 72 kilometres, so that's the border there. Oh, right. I've learned for these. Just wait. Just wait it out. Because nobody indicates properly. Some of them do, some of them don't. Be sure. So yeah, little coffee shop, cake shop, brasserie, whatever you want to call it. Just got a coffee and a cake. I'll put a picture up. Right. Um, 3 euro 71. Like it. Piece of Black Forest. She was trying to tell me something in German. We're trying to get my phone out to do translate. And then she was oh, I'm like, ah, sorry, it lasts it. They're trying to tell me it's got alcohol in it. I guess it with a curse or something. So yeah, if you're ever out these parts, alright, bear in mind, it's worth dipping into a netto. If you've got a little coffee shop attached, keep us chips, coffee and a cake, give you a little bit of a boost. Move on to the next one. Weather, so try to explain it on this morning, which I'll probably edit in. And if you're already heard me saying it. But I tried picking a route that one was... Kilometer, turn left onto B112. Although be prepared, they don't have toilets in the netto. Anyway, yeah, so I was saying before, so rudely interrupted by that uh, Garmin, Gladys, Gladys Garmin, picked a, a more north route. It's 
come along because it looked like that were avoiding most of the, the wet weather. So I did manage to miss most of the rain today. Got caught in about half an hour of it and it did sheet it then. However, it's been quite warm and dry out. Back it's dried out and it get wet up top half. Although I can feel my soggy boots again. We're finishing the day in Poland. So day one, brings it to Belgium. Day two, then in Belgium. Day three, Belgium, cross halfway of Germany. Day four, to other half of Germany, finishing in Poland. Of course, on track. Right, I'm going to put my tunes back on now. I'll catch you all later.